So let's look at the next set of questions. So the marginal profit function of a manufacturing of manufacturing x shoes x six plus ten x minus six x squared. The profit gain of producing a pair of shoe is what twelve USD. We should find the total and then average profit function. So let's see something here. Our our marginal profits function, which is P prime of X, you can also use the MP um, if you are comfortable with it. It's equal to 6 plus 10X minus 6X squared. So as usual, when you want our total profit, we integrate, which is P prime of what? X, which is equal to what? 6X plus 5x squared minus 2x power 3 plus k so when x is equal to 2 which is the pair of the shoes our costs our our our, our profit that we are going when you sell maybe um a pair of shoe it means that our profits that we are going to generate is going to be 12 USD. Therefore, this can help us to find um, this can help us to find the total profit. So at P of 2 is equal to 6 of 2 plus 5 of 2 squared minus 2 times 2 power 3 plus K. And remember P of 2 is equal to 12. So based on that, we can simplify everything and we are going to get 12 equal to 12 plus 20 minus 16 plus K. And at the end of the day, we are going to get K equal to negative 4. So when we get K equal to negative 4, let's come back and put it into our original function. So we are going to get at the end of the day 6, 6x six plus 5x squared minus 2x power 3 minus 4. This is our P. So now we have our profit function. So the average profit function, as I said, is similar to that of average cost function. When you, when you are calculating for the average cost, it's the same thing. It's the profit over x. If it is our average cost is the cost function over x the same thing so we just have to do six don't forget here is six x right six x so six x over x or just divide everything by x so when you are done then you simplify them so from here plus five x squared minus two x power three minus four all divided by x so you can do the simplification similar to the cost one that we did to get your final average profits so let's quickly look at one um let's see one last example here so that we can leave the rest for you to try so you can pause the video and try this and let's see. So the marginal profit function P prime of X, the marginal profit function P prime of X, it's two plus five exponent X. One, find P, P which is the profit, the total profit. If P of zero equal to 100, then this will find average profit. So this is also same or similar to that of the cost marginal cost one that we did earlier. I just modified the questions. So based on this, this is my P prime of X. This is equal to two plus five E of X. So since you have this, the next one is, as usual, we should do integration. So integral of P prime of X is going to go integral of two plus five E exponent X. And based on this, we are going to get 2x 
plus 5 here because when you integrate this you get the same plus k so question one at p equal to x equal to zero which is this p is equal to 100 so remember here is what p we have integrated this and we got our p so in that we are going to get p of zero which is 100 to 100 equal to 20 plus 5 e 0 plus k so 100 equal to um plus 5 right 0 plus 5 plus k and therefore my k equal to 100 minus 5 which is equal to 95 so now i have my k as 95 therefore my p which is my profit function is equal to is equal to 2x plus 5e power x plus 95 plus p so my the second one it's the average profit as i said average cost is c over x average profit is p over what x as usual so what we need to do is we take 2x plus 5e power x plus 95 divided by x and then you do your simplification to get um the actual value is maybe 2 plus 5e power x over x plus 95 over x so this is as simple as that so for us to close this session i have some couple of examples for you i have some couple of examples for you to solve and this is um so much general that um i want you to try your hands on them it is the same thing the marginal cost um c prime of x and the marginal revenue but before that let me touch on something you thank you for watching first and then i'll get you in my next video and now I'll, I'll do some a bit of explanation on how you can go about for the trial questions but before that these trial questions are also simple as that i earlier on i told you that when you have your cost marginal cost mc and you have your marginal revenue you know revenue a revenue that you generate within a year right and you have a marginal cost when you produce something you need to incur some cost and when you are done producing and you send it to the marketplace right after selling them you generate some revenue so if you want to know your profits it's what is your um the revenue that you generated my after selling it minus the cost that you use in producing um the, those items and therefore if you have the marginal um revenue and then marginal cost when you want the marginal profit marginal profit is equal to the marginal revenue minus what the marginal cost so in this type of question it's a little bit different from what we solved out up there so basically the marginal cost function has been given to you and the marginal revenue function has been given to you which is this one and this one respectively and they are asking you which you find and they're asking that the fixed cost is 200 yen i don't know the kind of this but um a sign you do but you can figure it out so we should determine the maximum profit you have your cost you have your um revenue what do we do and now you have your the fixed cost over here so that's is that so one there, there are two things that okay let me let me also touch on this there are two things that you can do here there are two things that you can do here you can calculate for um you can integrate this to get your uh, maximum uh, the cost to total cost and you integrate this to get your total revenue right and then after getting them you subtract them to get your um profit function straight away 
or you can subtract to get your profit function and then you move ahead to calculate for the values of um, the values the, the marginal profit function 